Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Anissa and please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and ring the bell. Everything I'm going to be linked to down in the description. And don't forget to follow me on my socials and let's get right into the video. So I'm going to start off by um, cutting down the Acrylic Creamery Extra Long Square um, C-Curve Tips. And you can get these on her Etsy shop. I think they're still available. I will leave the link to her complete website down below in the description and these are just tip cutters from amazon and i'm cutting them down to a medium length and i'm going to be um just filing the tip to remove that little hump because i am going to try and get my application as smooth as possible and sometimes the little wings and that little ridge from the tip where it meets the natural nail will kind of um disturb that process this is a 180 grit sanding band and I'm using my net like Lucy drill and it's on the speed of like three or 4,000 RPMs. So next I'm going to be reshaping the sides. You can also run over, sorry if you can hear that outside. I don't know what's going on, but um, <laughs> you can also run over the side, like the top of the nail. Um, only where the tip meets natural nail with this hand file. This is an 88 grit hand file, so I'd be careful, but I'm just reshaping the sidewalls and the free edge. For some reason, the ring finger was like a little bit more um, like coffin. And this is Ice Baby, and then we have Butter Pecan Nude, and then the number 12 Bomb Nails brush. Everything that I just mentioned is from Bomb Nails. But right now, I'm using JCBD Concepts Clear, and I'm just gonna go ahead and do a clear, a clear thin base layer to all the nails then after that i will be doing the pinky um ombre with the ice baby and the butter pecan nude and then the um ring finger which is going to be the first nail up is going to be a solid nail of ice baby and then my um index finger uh, middle finger and thumb will all be a full nail of butter pecan nude and the um, monomer I'm using is JC Beauty Concepts Also, I just want to mention really quick that these are on the shorter side. They're kind of like medium nails, so they don't need to be that thick at all. And they don't need very much of an apex just because of how short they are. If they were a little bit longer than this, I would definitely give them a small apex, but um, they kind of don't need it. You can give it one if you want to, but don't make them too thick because it'll look weird and they're already um, small enough. And we will be encapsulating this nail uh the ring finger and the pinky with the jc beauty concepts clear anyways so you definitely don't want to do the design portion too thick and i did build the thumb up too thick just a little bit and i did not encapsulate any of the nudes and yes this is the size 12 um brush from bomb nails not the 14 this video was recorded before that package came in i think the day before or two days before so yes this is a ombre nail i think i forgot to mention that it's ombre but yes i went ahead and did all the glitters out the way first and i actually did not get any glitter stuck in my brush or my monomer and i am working on the drier side um and i noticed a big difference in my application and I actually went ahead and um, encapsulated straight away, which is also different for me. I would typically go in and do it at the end, but I guess I was trying something um, different out. So it was a bit hot in my garage and um, the product was drying a little bit fast um, also and um, sometimes the nails would heat up so I would spray it down with some alcohol or pour some alcohol on it and it would stop the burning and yes I do get a, um, a little bit out of frame but for the most part um, I edited the majority of the out of frame portion out 
and only like a little bit I'd say is in just because it still flows very well but yes that's what I want to mention it was kind of hot so um my beads are drying up a little bit faster than usual so that's why I'm using so many I feel like and also I was trying to stick to the um I think three bead method and it kind of um, didn't work because like I said it was drying too fast so I couldn't drag it down properly so I did have to add a couple more beads which is completely fine I just um made sure the acrylic surface was smooth and then once it was smooth enough it was pretty much the perfect um thickness it needed to be and of course if it's too thick you can always take it down in filing but make sure your application is smooth um at least so you don't have to do too much work the application not too bad um i don't know why i added that one bead um on the thumb to the same area twice and it was like a big bead too and it didn't need to go there but i'm using the tammy taylor pin and stick hand file and i'm just bringing in the sides of the acrylic um not the acrylic the bringing in the side wash just a little bit more and i'm also um going in and detaching any of the acrylic that is um, attached to the skin on the side walls um and I'm just making sure that this is a nice um, square shape. I'm not going for tapered square or anything like that. And then I'm also going to go over the surface just a little bit. Not too much, but I am going to go in with a fine ceramic um, tapered drill bit and go around the cuticle area as well as the nail, um, the rest of the nail a little bit more. And then I'll switch to a 180 grit sanding band and really smooth everything out. And if I need to go back in with the hand file, I will definitely do so. Um, just to make sure the nails are completely smooth and then after that I dust off the nails and buff them
the nails are all smooth i'm going to use a alcohol wipe and remove any dust so this is um savvy land white it's a gel paint and i think it's number 11 and so on some of the nails i didn't build up the opacity to where it should have been so you can see through it and the nude peeks through a lot and you can definitely see it in like the final reveal photos so yes build up the white to full opacity it's okay to use it with um this is just the same acrylic brush i used earlier it was soaking in brush cleaner so i was just using it as a cleanup brush but um this is a three-piece marble um brush set from getting out 32 by the way and i love these brushes for french and everything like that and line work and then this brush i'm going to use to fill everything in is from the savvy land um kit when you buy the the gel paint it comes in the little free pack so i think that it came with like 12 brushes the same thing that had the fan brush in it is where this brush comes from as well and i recommend building this white up you can do two coats if you have to and really build that white up because you will definitely be able to see the nude peeking through from um the natural lighting if you take out like if you step outside you'll be able to see it better than this lighting right here you can kind of tell it's still a little bit um transparent so where the white doesn't cover it fully but yeah it's way more apparent in natural lighting and let you guys watch um remember the gel is still wet when i'm pouring the glitter on this is recollections glitter um i think it's called extra fine white glitter is the one i'm using and you can get it from like michael's or whatever store or sells that type of glitter and i'm let you guys watch like i said and i also um outline the pinky as well and yes you want to cure this fully for like 60 seconds i want to say just because it is a white glitter and it's going to be a little bit harder for it to um penetrate through all the layers blue tool with like the little diamonds in it um is a silicone tool and i'm just using it to clean up any of the excess gel polish so i went ahead and cured all the nails for at least um 120 seconds and that's why i went ahead and dusted everything off and this is where i kind of noticed like 
um it's a little bit see-through but i thought it was gonna be fine and i think I'm, this is diamond top coat from acrylic creamery and uh because my last couple sets have been matte so I went ahead and only went around the nail beds, not over the sugared glitter. If I wanted to do two layers of glitter, I could have gone in with the top coat and redid the um, sugar effect only and then pour more glitter on it and then cure it for the 120 seconds. And then that would have been it. And I went ahead and put um, it underneath the nail and cured it for a full 120 seconds. And then I used some Get Nail 32 cuticle oil after everything was cured. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and ring the bell. Everything I have linked to will be linked to down in the description. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Here's the acrylic creamery top coat. And here's the glitter. And bye for real this time.